Hello everyone, my name is Shangchuan Li. I'm an application engineer based in Plano, Texas office. With me, Arun is a senior team lead from development side, focused on SLC block set. So in this video, Arun and I would like to share how to simulate and implement FLC motor controller on a TIC2000 dual core MCUs. So we will show you how to control a dynamometer motor drives and polytronics with a dual core microcontroller. So we will use motor control block set and SLC block set to simulate a sensorless field orientation control and partition controls across CPUs. And finally, we will generate code for real-time testing on an embedded processor. So here are some key takeaways from this demo. With properly partitioning in place, motor and polytronics control algorithm run on dual CPUs can achieve higher control bandwidth and can be used for safety critical motor drive applications. Second of all, engineers can use SLC block set to build models to achieve dual core motor control algorithms and perform simulations both on desktop and real-time by deploying the code to embedded processors and then quickly assess the performance of motor drive systems. And each of the applications require designers to determine how to schedule test executions and how to manage inter-processor communication between CPU 1 and CPU 2. So here is the hardware demo show you how we can control PMSN dual motor setup in real time. Uh, just uh, at a very high level, this example use field orientation control to control two three-phase permanent magnet synchronized motors coupled in a dyno setup. So on the left hand side, motor one runs in a closed loop speed control mode. And the right hand side, motor two runs in a torque control mode and loads motor 1. So you can use this example to test a motor under different load conditions. So as you can see, uh, two motors that are connect back to back, and the motors are driven by a dual core TIC2000 controller hardware board. And here we also have a host model uh, over here um, to in order to have a serial communication with the controller board. So now let me uh, quickly uh, uh, start this uh, motors. So as you can see, uh, we are start with the speed command um, 300 RPM to motor one. And then we will incrementally increase the motor speed. And now on the low side, uh, the motor two is zero torque load. So notice that on the back, uh, we also have a power supply to give 24 uh, DC bus voltage. And on the oscilloscope here, we can observe the speed feedback in real time, and also we can observe uh, the current feedback. Um, just like here, this is the load uh, we are showing you, and here is the current feedback in the sinusoidal wave because it's a three-phase current. So this demo really resembles the way customer test their motor drive system in a dyno setup. And here we're just showing you uh, two, identical, two identical PMSM, but of course we can swap into different type of motors such as induction motors or any other type of uh, motor for testing as a load, right? So now the question is, how do we set up multiple architecture in Simulink uh, for simulation and co-generation. So the answer is by using SLC block set. So with SLC block set, what we provide is a complete MBD workflow for multi-core microcontroller from desktop simulation to implementation on that embedded hardware. And one of the key features of SLC block set is to simulation hardware component and device driver behavior in Simulink, which helps uncover implementation issue uh, before customer deploy the code into the hardware.
And on top of that, uh, we enhance on-device profiling with streaming test execution and CPU utilization information. Now, Arun will show you a deep dive dual-core CPUs for motor control algorithms using SOC block set. Let's look at this multi-core example from SOC block set. SOC block set provides complete MBD workflows for multi-core MCUs with a single model from simulation to implementation on hardware. Both CP1 and CP2 are modeled in one top model which enables interactions between them and with the plant. Plant consists of two motors coupled in a dyno setup. Motor 1 is a device and a test and motor 2 is physically coupled with motor 1 and motor 2 acts as a load to motor 1. This is a classical test setup in a motor control. Inputs to the plants are either switching PWM signals or average duty cycle based on the inverter model's simulation fidelity. Plant outputs are the phase currents. Two phase currents, IA and IB, are sensed by ADCs of the MCU. Each CPU model contains a task manager block connected to a model reference block. Model reference block represents the algorithm to be run on an appropriate core. Task manager block schedules the algorithm both in simulation and code generation. Another task manager block is used to schedule the second core. SOC block set can simulate concurrent task simulation for multi-cores with these task manager blocks. FOC technique involves two control loops, an outer slower loop to regulate the speed and an inner faster loop to regulate the currents. CP1 runs speed control for motor 1 and CP2 runs star control for motor 2. All FOC related algorithms are available in the motor control block set. This example uses motor control block set features like sensorless motor position estimator, park and clack transforms, space vector PWM generator. You can set up your simulation models with all timing information like task execution time, delays due to data exchange between cores, sensor delays like ADC acquisition time or conversion time. ADC PWM synchronization are modeled in this example. PWM triggers ADC start of conversion and once ADC result is ready, ADC posts an interrupt to schedule an algorithm. The model references are connected through interprocess data channel blocks or IPC blocks. The IPC blocks manages the data exchanges across homogeneous and heterogeneous cores. Now let's look at the results. Row 1 results are from hardware using external mode and row 2 from simulation. First few seconds, motor 1 runs in open loop control to allow position estimator to work accurately. At 1.5 second, observe motor speed following the desired 50% rated RPM. At 3 second, motor 2 is started with the desired reference stock loading the motor 1 immediately. Observe motor 1 maintaining the desired speed, proving the robustness of the speed control. As discussed, you can observe the diagnostic information like CPU utilization and task execution. Speed loop runs every one millisecond. When no tasks are running, CPU utilization is showing idle. ADC runs every 50 microseconds. Visualize the task duration of ADC interrupt tasks and the periodic information. For code generation, go to the System on Chip tab, click on Configure, Build and Deploy, and follow the instructions provided inside the SOC Builder tool. Yeah, here is the live demo. I have the model set up for the external mode. External mode is in a connect state, and this is the camera showing the dyno setup, and we will visualize the logs in the SDI. Let me start the external mode. You can see the motor spinning. Motor goes to the closed loop and there is a load acting. That's the end of the demo.